I am at a complete loss for words right now. Pokemon Ethereal Gates, that is what you're seeing on the screen right now. Not 7th generation, not some sort of new project from Game Freak or Nintendo or anything of the sort. Rather, you're seeing gameplay from a fan-made game, and if you ask me, this project is nothing short of incredible. The claim I'm about to make here is pretty radical, especially given how little exposure we have all had to this game. But I honestly think that it is one of the greatest fan-made games we have ever seen. I mean, sure, we've had some phenomenal ROM hacks in the past, with games like Light Platinum, Flora Sky, Insurgents, and other amazing hacks, but this game has taken things to a whole new level. The art is stunning, the characters are well made, the story sounds epic, and the list goes on and on. Most striking though, is just how damn good the Pokemon's designs are. This game introduces over 200 all new original Pokemon, and the designs completely blow away those of any other fan-made game I've seen before. Which is not at all to hate on those other ROM hacks I mentioned, because they are all phenomenally made games. All I'm trying to say here is that this game is amazing, and it has completely exceeded my expectations for a fan-made game. Alright, well I think that's enough of me fangasming over Ethereal Gates. Let me go ahead and tell you a little bit about the game's story, and some of the specific features that it has. Now, Ethereal Gates takes place in what is called the Lenica region, an area composed of two large landmasses separated by a fairly big body of water in between them. As for the game's story, and this is where things get interesting guys, the plot is centered on the ancient legend of a Pokemon that has the ability to travel between the world of the living and the world of the dead. It's said that long ago, humans used to summon this Pokemon with a relic, and on rare occasions, it would appear and bring one who had died back to the land of the living. However, wars soon broke out over the relic, and the monks who guarded it decided the power was too much for any one person to hold, so the relic was broken into four parts and scattered across the region. Legend tells of four fearsome beasts who guard each part of the relic. As such, these four fabled sites became known as Ethereal Gates. Through the game, you as the protagonist investigate this legend on your route to becoming the champion and fight against the evil organization Team Mythos, who is bent on using the relic for evil purposes. Additionally, there are of course three all new originally designed starters as well as some brand new characters in the game. The starters names are Fernling, Kitorch, and Bubble. I'll also include a screenshot of a couple of characters on the screen right now. And let me just say, I don't know what you guys think, but to me the designs for the starters and the characters are unbelievable. Finally, just to state a couple more last ditch features here, Ethereal Gates has 200 plus brand new never before seen Pokemon, a completely new and original region called the Lenica region as previously stated, which is actually based on New Zealand, a new and original musical soundtrack, 3D cutscenes, better screen resolution, and a revamped and redesigned menu interface. So guys, I would definitely recommend you go and play this game when you get a chance. I will leave a down the link down in the description as well as a link to the page with more info on the game, so be sure to check that out. And lastly, before ending things off here, you guys are probably wondering at this point, hey Roshank, when are you starting your LP of this game? Well, to be honest guys, I'm not going to be doing an LP of Ethereal Gates yet. And the reason for this is that I unfortunately have a Mac, and the game is a bit buggy and a bit laggy on Macs, and also I have a different project planned out for my next Pokemon LP that I have been working on for some time now, but I will be doing an LP of this game at some point in the future, most likely after this next project of mine and after I sort out all the technical problems. However, if you would like to see a Let's Play of this game right now to learn a little bit more about the game, one of my buddies, a YouTuber by the name of Magic Dragoner, started an awesome playthrough of Ethereum Gates on his channel, so if you want to learn more about this game, then be sure to check him out. I'll leave a link in an annotation and the description. Otherwise, thanks for tuning in folks, and I will see you in my next Pokemon video.